Hello guys, it's Miss Tracy here and it's Sunday, May 17th, 2020 and this is your tween Sunday school class for today. And I know we're getting closer to being in class together. So I know we have a couple more weeks and then we might be the following week, which will be in the first week of June, being in class together. But we're gonna have our Zoom meeting, but if anyone can't attend the Zoom meeting, then you guys can watch this video right here. So we'll go ahead and do the same lesson. But I do hope to see you at the Zoom meeting and our service in the church building. So I hope I see all of you guys there as well. It was so nice last Wednesday night to be inside the church. It was so wonderful. It felt so great to be there. And so we're going to get started. We've been talking about um, the Ten Commandments. We talked about the last four last week, and we're going to talk about the next six, the end of them. And so let's get started with our prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so very much, Father, that we're able to use this technology, Father, to deliver the students the message that you have for them, Lord Jesus. We thank you that you've protected us through this pandemic that we've been going through, Father. You've kept us safe and healthy, Lord Jesus, and we just know and believe in our hearts that you will continue to do that, Father. Father, you know their prayer requests, Lord, and I'm agreeing, Lord, with them that their prayers are answered, Lord Jesus. Let this be of you, Father, not of me, Lord Jesus. Speak to their hearts, Lord Jesus, in your precious and holy name. Amen. And it's called The Last Six Commandments, Our Relationship with Others. So we talked about the first four. That was our relationship with God, getting us closer to God. And these are the last six is the relationship with other people. And our memory verse, I'll put this up here. You guys can pause it so you guys can study it. And it says, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. John 13, 34, and that's the King James Version. And this is the NIV. A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. John 13, 34, NIV. And we can, uh, when we get back together, you guys tell me which ones that you memorized and I can put you down because by the end of this month, we'll be done with the whole unit. So that way we'll be starting a new one the first week of June. So let's get started, okay? Um, last week, we can do a little bit of review. What commandments help us honor God? Do you guys remember the first four? Do you guys know what they are? The first four, no other gods no idols, God's uh, value God's name, remember don't use God's name in vain, and keep the Sabbath holy. What did you do to honor God this week? I'll let you guys think about that. Was there anything special that you guys did that you normally don't do or that you continued to do? So you guys can answer that on your own. Um, what do the first, well we've already talked about that, first four commandments help us do? Well, we talked about that earlier, right when we started out. The first four help us to have a good relationship with God, to honor God. That's what the first four focused on. So what do you think the last six commandments do? And I already told you this, guys, earlier, what we were talking about. The last six, they have a good relationship with others, how to treat other people. God wants us to know how we should treat other people. It's his commandment, right? Why is it important to know how to treat others? Why do you think it's important that you should know how to treat other people? The commandments show how God wants us to love one another. Treating one another correctly is the way God intends life to be. It brings happy, peaceful relationships, right? If we follow these rules, these commandments that God gave us, we will have great relationships with one another. They won't be... I don't know. They just like if we broke any of the commandments, you wouldn't have a good relationship if you lied to someone or if you stole from someone, right? Your relationship wouldn't be that good. It wouldn't be a good relationship at all. So we should learn to keep these and honor them, right? So God wants us to get along with other people. The last six of Ten Commandments tell us how to treat others correctly. Number five, honor parents. And we talked about this for Mother's Day, right? Not just honor your mother, but your father as well. Honoring our parents means treating them with respect, love, and obedience. And number six, don't murder. 
I'm sure that one right there explains it all. Don't murder. God wants us to know every person's life is valuable. Jesus said being angry without a good reason is wrong. You should not be even thinking about or no, no one should be murdering at all. And number seven, no adultery. This might, to some, might, they might not want to be listening to it, but it's true that we should, there is no adultery in God's eyes. When people get married, they promise themselves to each other. Adultery is breaking that promise. God wants husbands and wives to be faithful to each other because cheating in a marriage ruins the marriage. It just causes a lot of harm on them. And number eight, don't steal. God does not want us to take things that do not belong to us. I don't know if you guys, if that was something as you were younger, that maybe you went through a phase as taking things that didn't belong to you. You didn't know that they, it was such. If you've seen something that you really liked, a toy, and you maybe took it and didn't realize how bad it was, that it was stealing, that that's what it was. I know uh, a lot of children go through that, and it's wrong, but you have to learn from your mistakes, right? You're told not to do it and what harm it causes on you getting in trouble, but what it does to that other person, how they feel, right? We should respect other people's things. He tells people to stop stealing. And number nine, don't lie. God does not want us to lie. We should be honest. Lying is a serious business to God. He promises that liars will have the same future as murderers and idol worshipers. They will be thrown into a lake of fire. And that is, it's also something that a lot of children, even adults, a lot of adults have problems with this as well. Stretching the truth. Maybe not completely. They're thinking it's not a complete lie. But even if they stretch that truth just a little bit, it's still a lie, right? It's wrong. And we should always refrain to telling the truth. Because like I tell my children, eventually that lie will come out and you will get in trouble. You'll be called out on it. And how do you think that's going to make you feel? It's going to make you feel horrible for lying. And then also that trust gets broken and it's hard to regain someone's trust. And it can be done. It can be done. But it's hard to, to regain someone's trust. And I just think it's always the best. Do not lie. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Number 10, don't covet. This means God does not want us to, to wish we had something that is someone else's. Why is that such a big deal? It can lead to doing other bad things. If someone covets or really wants his friend's laptop, he may be tempted to steal it, right? You may go back to the other commandment and steal it because you're coveting it. You're jealous that that person has it and you want it. So that's a reason right there. Don't covet. Don't even think in your head like you want what they have. It's not right. His jealousy may lead him to do something mean to his friend. Instead of coveting, God wants us to be content with the things that we already have, knowing he will take care of us, right? Getting along with our families, friends, and others is easier when we obey the last six of the Ten Commandments. That is because these commandments help us treat people the way God wants us to with respect, right? And just as... We are to obey these and, and show respect to others. You want other people to do the same thing to you. You don't feel good if someone does any of these things to you. So you should try your utmost and just your best that you can to follow them all. To have good relationships with other people. So the first four were to have a better relationship with God. To get closer to God. To honor God. And the last six to have a great relationship with other people. And that's what our memory verse is, right? If we are a new command, which I give to you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. If we follow these last six, that means we are loving one another. I really hope that you guys can really um, sit down and reflect on all these commandments. They weren't given just for no reason. They were given because they were so important and God wants you to keep them all. So I hope that you can uh, really look at your life and um, just think about if there's any of these that you really need help on and pray about it. Pray to God to help reveal if there's any of them that you might not be following how he wants you to. Pray about it and he will reveal it to you, okay? 
And I just know and believe that you guys are doing wonderful. And as corny as this may be, I know you guys are tweens, but I have a song, a little rhyme here, that I was going to sing it to you guys about the Ten Commandments, okay? And just know I love you all. I'll let you guys, if you want to end it, you can. But um, know I love you and I can't wait to see you. The first commandment is easy, you see. God said, have no gods but me. The second commandment is very vital. God said, don't, don't you make any idols. The third commandment tells tongues to refrain. Never take God's name in vain. The fourth commandment, they better not shirk. Keep the Sabbath holy and do not work. Fifth commandment about mother and dad. Give them honor, don't treat them bad. You shall not kill is the sixth command. Do not murder is what God demands. Commit not adultery on your husband or wife. Cause when you marry, you marry for life. The eighth commandment is a very big deal. It tells everyone they better not steal. Never tell a lie is commandment number nine. If you always tell the truth, you'll be just fine. The very last one is commandment number ten. Do not covet for it is sin. Hope you guys follow all the ten commandments. And I love you and I will see you at church in our Zoom meeting. Bye guys.